hello everyone welcome back to my channel so as i said i told you i'll be back and in this video we're just carrying on from where we stopped in the first part of the the topic on heaven and hell and the concept of uh, you know the mistakes in the bible is heaven and hell real all the stuff so now now that i've taken the time to explain all those things about the mistakes the mark of the beast how it's come to be uh caesar and all that stuff is heaven real is hell real <laughs> is reincarnation real there's no hellfire I hate to break it to you my darling <laughs> but there's nothing like hellfire if anything you're experiencing your hell on this earth this earth plane right here the, the 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 kind of stuff we go through every day that is a hellish as enough as it is and it, uh, how much more hell do you want in your life so you want to go through all the suffering in this life and carry on again in another plane god is not like that and then before we even go forward in, in this whole conversation the concept of god what is god to you who is god to you is god a man is god a woman does god have a gender is god just a, a combination of energy is it the source is it the universe who is god what is god how do you see God? Because I, I think until we get the concept of the idea of God itself, we would not completely understand the idea of how hell or heaven has come to be. This whole thing started with the Christian uh, Bible, an Arabic that the Islams believe of heaven hell and this if you notice if you've read the quran and the bible you notice that there are so many similarities of stories and i mean they're not quite far from each other in the middle east so they i can understand why their stories might seem quite similar and all that kind of stuff now personally having been raised a christian i used to see god as a as a godhead as a as a man this is what we've been told in the church but after a lot of personal experience reading the bible sorry reading other books outside of the bible going through certain things i have come to understand that the energy or, or the divinity of god is just pure light in the there's a book i read it's called the journey of the souls by michael newton and this book it tells you how people go from the stages of death how their soul comes out from the top of the head like in the middle it just comes out in yoruba cosmology it is also believed that atari there's something called here that is called atari there's it's like a soft soul if you've got babies when you touch it, it's usually soft. It even kind of pulsates sometimes. That is where the soul comes out from. When people die sudden death, the soul comes flying out because it's sudden death. When it's uh, a death that is predestined or your people already know that it's coming, it, it goes through a slow process. Not completely slow, but like the soul sometimes has even come out of the body before the body actually dies. So anyway, in this book, he goes through the stages of how people die, how they uh, move to the other dimension. They go f there's, a, there's a tunnel. They go through it, and then they come out on the other side of this tunnel. They meet a guardian angel who is already waiting for them. Sorry, before, before, um, sometimes at the point of death, there's a, there's a, there's a feeling of love that envelops you you do not necessarily see the entities angels or spirit guides whatever you want to call them but you feel their energy the soul feels the energy 
Now, you'd ask me, how do you know all these things? This information comes from the place of a lot of information gathering from people's experience during past life regression. I personally haven't had a past life regression, but I've had a trans-like experience that makes me see other things on the other side. Well, some people call it near-death experience, out-of-body experience, astral projection. You can give it whatever name you want, but it's easy for me to understand it because I've had a, a similar experience of this. Anyway, I digress. Back to what I was saying. They go through this process. They come to the other side, and then some people recognize souls they've 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 uh, met in one lifetime or the other, or in the present lifetime that they're just. Uh, finished and they are just coming out from these energies welcome them you know some people are able to recognize now in the other dimension people do not communicate using words they communicate using energy their aura you 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 recognize someone not by face but by their energy I can't completely explain the whole experience to you. If you read the book, you understand where I'm, where I'm coming from and what I'm trying to say. Or the 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 um, uh, the other easiest breakdown of how this experience is is that there's a, a Disney animation called Souls. You can go watch it on Disney Plus. I recommended it to some of my friends uh, about two months ago that I watched it, and this goes into simple explanation of afterlife event now when people go through all this they go through a place of reflection this place of reflection is where you sit with your spirit guide and you go through the life you've just come from the the your, you go through all the memories your wins your losses your mistakes your frailties your flaws your success your achievement your legacy, everything. People who, who, who people go through it at different stages with different experiences. Those who triumph in this lifetime, they don't get to spend too much time in the place of reflection. And if you are an old soul who has gone through life of quite a few times, you don't really go through that process as much. It's quicker, you just go through it and you are on the other side, you're, you've matured. But souls that are young souls, they spend more time in the place of reflection. And some people, they, they, they self-loathe so much. They push away their spirit guides. They don't want the love, the help that is being given to them. They refuse it. They just want to sit in that place and throw a pity party. Now, you would be looking at me like, what is she saying? The experiences we have in this life is the same experience we have as souls on the other side. This is why when people commit suicide, sometimes, I, and I apologize if this is a soft spot for anyone who is watching this, I do not intend to go into an, uh, you know, a topic to, to uh, uh, what do you call it, poke your, your wound that is still healing. I just want to use it for an example. When people go through the process of suicide and they think whatever it is they are running away from on this earth plane that was frustrating them, they find that they don't necessarily get any relief from the stress or the pressure after death. They more or less have just wasted a, a, a body, a suit, because our physical human flesh body is just a suit that we are putting on pending the time and then when we're done we just leave it alone and we go we move on they've wasted this body the feeling that the way they were feeling the joy the pain the sorrow whatever emotion feeling down feeling joyful what all that emotion you felt in your physical body you still carry on feeling it as a soul even after death do you understand so this is why some people will put themselves in so much self-loathing and then they, they, they refuse to move on. There are some other souls who are coming in, 
they meet with their friends, their loved ones that they recognize and they, they, they move on to, to their, there's something called soul clusters. They move to where their soul, soul uh, clusters are, are uh, residing because they all have their, like a bubble, you know. They go there. But some people spend a longer time in the place of reflection. And also, in that place of reflection, because there is shape-shifting ability for every soul and the spirit guides, you can turn into clouds. You can turn into a tree, a plant. You can go into a previous human body you used to use before or the one you've just come out you can create you can form or go into any form or shape you you'd like that being said you can also create the scenario of your environment on the earth plane on the other side to create familiarity why do people do this to create a place of comfort, succor, something that looks familiar. So if there's your, the, the room you used to sleep before, you can create that scenario on the other side and you just stay there. You'll be wondering, do our souls sleeping? Do souls feel tired? No, they don't. But these are just part of the experiences that souls have or go through. This is the real experience souls go through. There is no heaven, there is no hellfire waiting for them. Now, going back to that Lil Nas's video, that boy was just using that video to express himself and his sexuality and how people have made fun of him. Starting with how the, 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 the serpent came to him and then he kissed the devil and whatever, whatnot. It's just symbolism and is an expression of himself using art history. It's nothing to do with hellfire, antichrist, 666, the devil, Satan, fallen angel, and all that bullshit. It's a, it's a pile of shit, I'm sorry to say, but it's got nothing to do with it. You can, you can take my word with a pinch of salt. It's your choice. You've got your choice and your, your opinion. I'm not here to force mine on you. But this is just my take on it. And then he went through the, all this thing of, of, of self-transformation, accepting himself. He tried to run away from himself. And then he got to a point, he couldn't run anymore. He just accepted himself for who he is. And then the time he embraced himself, he was arrested by the conservatives. Who, who chained him on all sides. He couldn't break free from it. He was crucified for coming out as a, a gay man. Now, know this, I'm neither for or against his lifestyle. I don't really know much about him. I'm just giving you feedback based on what I've seen. And personally, it's just unfair when people crucify others for no apparent reason without going into the deep meaning and evaluation and breakdown of the, 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 the topic of discourse. And then he was, he was killed by this so-called people who, who, who think they are in the position of persecution and then he, he, he had a choice to go to heaven or go to hell now that depiction to me says that he had the choice to be a good guy or a bad guy and i feel like the guy is just tired of being judged being persecuted being told how he should live his life how to respond how not to respond what to do how to dress how to look what to say how to sing how to stand, how to express himself sexually, and he just thought, you know what, y'all can go fuck yourself. I don't really give a toss. And he embraced the dance pole, uh, the pole dancing thingy, and he went straight to hell, gave the devil a lap dance, it's another symbolism, and broke his neck and took the horn for himself and put it. Now, some people will say, oh my God, uh, Miss Honey Drop is a Satanist. Y'all need to get a fucking life. <laughs> Just really. Demons can take any form. Like I said, the same way souls have a sh the, the shape-shifting ability. All entities have shape-shifting abilities. Now, when you talk about angels, hmm? angels can come to you in form of uh, a, a, a man who is Caucasian in, in skin tone with 
massive wings. It can come to you in the appearance of, 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 an, of an angel dressed from head to toe in, in gems and stones and everything, blinging from head to toe and all that. It can come to you in form of a ball of light. Angels can appear to you with the head of a dove and or the head of a bird with human body. They can come in any way or form that you think them to be. Now, note this, sometimes they come to you based on the image you have created in your head of them. The same thing applies to demons. Have you not heard where Lucifer comes in the form of light? I mean, he's, he's said to be the, the brighter morning star, be Kilongwe. You know, like the light bearer. It will come and sh it will be shining and shimmering. That something looks dark doesn't mean it's dark. That something looks light doesn't mean it's light. Everything is left and, and, and you know, is open for interpretation based on who is looking at it. Demons can come in the form of light. They can also come in the form of dark energy. They can come in the form of distorted images that men have humans have created in their mind about them if that is the way you see them that's where they'll come to you if you see demons to look like a, a little boy playing with a ball that is the image they'll come to you as take it or leave it that's the honest truth you can speak to people who are well advanced in demonology although some people still believe that demons come in the form of monsters that's just rubbish it's just is nonsense <laughs> i don't know where they get the idea from all energies divinity entity have the ability to shape shift same thing goes for orishas orishas can come to you in shadow they can come to you in the form of what they represent their energy wind earth plant forest sometimes all, all you hear is the voice and you find yourself in the forest but you can tell whose energy it is that ah, is this the energy of uh, Ogun or Shongo? You find yourself in a place of metal and you can hear the, the voice and you can feel the energy of Ogun, but you can't see him. Other times he would appear to you in the image you have, have of him in your brain. I remember asking my friend this question one time that how do you see Shongo? He said I see Shongo as a man with a big cigar in the hand who, who appears to me with his hair braided, his hunk, his this, his that. That is the image he has created of Shongo in his head and that is the image from Shongo will come as. I also asked him how do you see uh, Olokun Senyade or Ajio Olokun. He said uh, Ajio Olokun usually comes in form of a young girl. A lot of people have said that, but this same Ajioloku will come to you in form of a middle-aged woman. They can take any form or shape. So what I'm trying to say in essence is that all the, 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 the uh, imagery that this boy used in this video, it is just messing with people's head. It's just, it's, uh, it's his own way of describing his experience, his hell, his heaven. His acceptance of himself, his experiences and all that stuff. It's not completely about Antichrist. And then that shoe business. I think it's just, it did it to generate so much, uh, uh, what do you call it, publicity for himself. Which worked out because if the look, from the look of things, things are really working in his favor. The, the dollars are rolling in. People bought the shoe. Because they had some crap 666 put on it and look look 310 I think damn ignorance is a problem honestly what people don't know can make or break them people need to do more research understand things test things out for themselves I can say this confidently because I have had personal experience with tons and tons of entities tons and tons of entities yes i said what i said tons and tons of entities angels demons or riches whatever most of them don't take their parents that people create on in the media or how they're described a lot of people just have very nasty and wild imagination that is just 
crazy. Remember, the, even the Bible, this same Bible says that the heart of man is desperately wicked. Who can see it? Also, this same Bible tells us, study to show yourself approved. Please, do your research. Ask questions. Go through real life experiences. Where you do not understand things, seek it out. Speak to people who know more about it, the elders and all that stuff. I mean, just, just make sure you're getting the, your information from the right resources. Don't just live your life based off of what your pastor tells you. On the pulpit the, the the part that upsets me in all of this is the fact that most of these pastors they know the truth but they're not ready to tell you because until they are satisfied they don't want to say anything and even for them to say anything you have to be close to them being their inner carcass inner circle you know they would never really tell you the truth because I cocoa ben one year now when they tell you coco ti funny year how are they going to make money you had their, you had, you had their uh, assurance to the bank. The tide has to keep rolling in. A lot of lies, misconception, bullshitting, religion, caging people, existing in, 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 the, in the church, in the Bible, in the, in, the, in the Christian fold. All these lies about hellfire and heaven and whatever. There is no hellfire, there is no hell, there is no rapture that's even another story rapture what does rapture mean rapture means uh, rest or pleasure <laughs> or long <sighs> the revelation about rapture is more or less a thing of the past that happened but the, it, the way it's said in the bible it is said as a prophetic event that is yet to take place you see the person who translated the Bible, they did us some real bad shit. <laughs> and then the people who read the Bible and try to understand it, they are not doing a good job as well. The pastors, they are not doing great. Everybody is just selling lies. Even when they know the truth, they wouldn't tell you. And that's the annoying part of this whole thing. They just... It's as if people are going through slavery all over again. Reincarnation is something that is sure because if you, if you are able to experience your previous life through past life regression, these are informations that are stored up in your super conscious memory. Because there's the conscious memory, there's the unconscious, there's the subconscious, and there's the super conscious. Your past life is stored up in your super conscious memory. This is, um, uh, is forgotten due to amnesia when we are born. So we do not live our life based on our past. Because some people will be trying so hard to create a scenario of the previous life in this lifetime. But no, you are meant to come to another lifetime to have a new experience, go through a new growth process, and return back to the, to the source, to the maker. Like I said before, uh, based off... Now, in that book of the journey of the soul, one of the advanced soul described his experience of trying to get close to where the throne of God is. And in his explanation, he said that personally, he doesn't see God as, as uh, one man on the throne. It's more of a combination of energy. And this energy is coming from bottom to the top. And this energy com com combines or, or is a combination of all the souls that are both on earth and in heaven. Because note this, even though you are existing in this life, your soul is still, pre is still present on the other side, in the other life, in the afterlife. It's just not active because you're living life here. So how people know the light of... of, of uh, an active soul on earth and, uh, and a soul that has returned back is that the light of a soul that has returned, that's people who have died and have gone back, their light is brighter. The light of someone who is still living, who is going through a, a, an incarnation, the light is dull. So it's like off yellow and bright yellow. And it's not moving. It's just in a spot, and it, it, it kind of it glows. It glows in and out. 
so you are living and breathing in another planet you know the light of someone who is about to return starts to take a little bit of a brighter form than someone who is still actively living so that's people who are on end of life because they are in between life and death now so the light becomes brighter but it's still not as bright as those who are actively on the other side now back to the description of this soul and energy we are all connected all, every single human being is connected by virtue of the source the maker our creator the creator and because of this energy that binds us together we are all connected in the in the in the in the rising from the bottom to the top of the energy flowing to the source and this is what makes us all powerful and this is the aspect that creates the energy of the godhead not that there's just a god sitting on the throne that energy flowing to the top as we ascend is what is creating it's like a council of elder kind of energy because we're all connected and as we know we are god i am a god you are a god same concept of yoruba saying i'm an orisha you are an orisha because the one who has been selected by your head by the creator for a special purpose is one who is called an orisha so you you are a god in your own right i'm a god in my own right yes as long as i'm working and living and breathing in my purpose that i've been predestined to accomplish then i am I'm, I'm yes i am a god the the, the 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 that word is a german word to describe one person to be ruling over the entirety of the world being a more superior being to everyone else but that's not the, the the experience and it wasn't just one person who had described that different people had given the ex same exact description at different times different location different year same explanation so for instance um david gives his own experience of what he feels god is on the other side in year 1980 and then jacob gives his own experience of what he feels god is in 1995 same description and then okay a few years down the line uh paul gives his own example of uh what is the experience of god is in 2001 same description different year different time different race different people different age same description i mean they cannot be wrong they cannot be creating it these people didn't even know what they were going to experience at the time of the past their past life regression session coming into being so these are these are the kind of experiences people have during past life regression knowing how it feels on the other side you know there are many ways to explain this but anyway i'll leave it at this today so i don't over complicate things <laughs> um it's been really great talking about this in as much as it's a topic i had been avoiding for a while i'm actually glad i went into it and yes i do hope we've actually learned something today about the whole concept of heaven hell afterlife the mark of the beast the rapture demons angels forms they can take shape shifting and all that stuff please let us be conscious of the information we let in i'm not here to pollute your mind in any way if my if everything i've said is does not resonate with you please take it just as for information for entertainment purposes and leave it at that but god knows that i i bear no uh evil thoughts sharing this information but just to bring light to darkness so that we can all come into the divine love of God, of the source of the creator, and go back to just that pure consciousness of what we've been created to accomplish. I'll leave it at that. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful time. See you another day. Stay blessed. Take care. Bye-bye.